come to you in the name of Buddhism. Everybody needs to try to be like a Buddhist and meditate because the kingdom of God is here and we need to look within for peace and serenity because if we have love in our heart, we can have uh, unification with our God and be one with him because he is love. Uh, someone asked Daniel, the uh, prophesied prophet of uh, Daniel 12, 9 and 13, a question. Uh, as to whether there's truth in all religions. And this is the response. Yes, but so what? For that snake of Eden called evil is within all religions too. Uh, and he always goes to their public gatherings every day to twist God's truth of peace into something uh, pretty unrecognizable and unloving as all people of the world become spiritual racists and condemn one another and it all must stop. It, this is the faith of everybody love everybody. Uh, Will Ferrell began it in a movie semi-pro and uh, this we got to just get along together and quit condemning one another. For all tainted religions, all tainted religions, uh, and none is bigger than uh, Christianity, uh, every knee will never bow unto the name of Jesus, only to his name of love. This is the restoration of Matthew 17, 11. All things would be restored. You see, Jesus, that name was only invented in the 17th century by a scribe. We don't even know who first translated it from Yahweh and Yeshua into Jesus and Jehovah but it's a latter-day name, 17th century. The name that predates that, written by the Apostle John, is the, the, the name of love. Every knee shall bow to that name. Every tongue shall confess the name of love. This is the faith of everybody love everybody. And it's time this world should start paying attention to this because this is the only way the world can prosper. And know that all tainted religions have turned away from love, the source of all that is good and noble within this bankrupted world. And it is a shame and it's time to reverse uh, that curse upon all of us together. Uh, because uh, otherwise we will forsake man's unity by the satanic ignorance of fools who will keep wrongly assuming that the answer uh, to survival is absolutely vital. It is absolutely vital. Love is the only way that we're going to get along. For the miracle of the dove of love's mission, and I am the bringer of the most regal eagle of the eons, inspiration, they fly higher than ever before. It's time to restore mankind's unity that is now coming forth from latter-day inspiration, revelation, and it will be like a bull in a china shop to shake everything up. I am foretold to be as the strong and mighty one, line by line, precept by precept, to come as a destroying storm. Isaiah 28, the end time latter day revelator for all uh, obsolete religions. It's time to go back to the uh, roots of all the religions. It's time to look back as it was in the beginning. So shall it be at the end. All shall bow to the name of love. And so praise God, it's time to unite by gaining understanding of the mark of the Lamb 777 that is sealed every person of love until the infinity can never end. So let all unloving ministries now be abandoned, says the Spirit, if they do not turn to love so that all people may be beloved of him and be seen as spiritually equals of one another. It's in the Constitution all are created equal, and that is for spirituality too. This world is nothing but a spiritual racist world. So come on over to be a Buddhist like Steven Seagal. He's my hero of heroes too. He's my champion of champions, the, the arm that rocked the earth. So you want to stand with some strong and mighty ones? Stand in his corner. If I ever get rich and famous, I'm going to try to hire that guy as my bodyguard. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, because... I. He, he can start his own religion, you know. Stephen Seagal, I read his quotes. Man, talk about wisdom. So if, if it's good enough for people like him, here you go. That's a good way because all roads of love lead, lead to love. And that is the truth. Amen. Yep, yep, yep.